Hi, this is Brad Constantine, and this is a podcast recording of the Old Testament. Although this is not an official recording of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, every effort's been made to be as doctrinally accurate as possible. I'll be using for the text the Joseph Smith translation of the Old Testament, along with many commentaries from general authorities of the Church, BYU professors, Bible scholars, and others. This format will be very detailed, and so if you want a deep analysis of the Old Testament, you come to the right place. Thanks for your attendance. Hi there, welcome back. This is going to be for Jeremiah chapter 44. So the heading reads, Jeremiah prophesies that the Jews in Egypt, save a small remnant, shall be destroyed because they worship false gods. Verse 1, the word, of, the word that came to Jeremiah concerning all the Jews which dwell in the land of Egypt, which dwell in Migdal and at Tapanes and at Naph and in the country of Pathros, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Ye have seen all the evil that I have brought upon Jerusalem and upon all the cities of Judah, and behold, this day they are a desolation, and no man dwelleth therein. Because of their wickedness, which they have committed to provoke me to anger, in that day went to burn incense and to serve other gods, whom they knew not, neither that they ye nor your fathers. Howbeit I sent you all my servants, the prophets, remember Lehi is a part of that group, commanding them to rise early and sending them, saying, Oh, do not this abominable th- abominable thing that I hate. But they hearken not, nor incline their ear to turn from their wickedness, to burn no incense unto other gods. Wherefore, my fury and mine anger was poured forth, and was kindled in the cities of Judah, and in the streets of Jerusalem, and they are wasted and desolate as at that as at this day. Remember, uh, as, as Lehi explains to his sons that Jerusalem has been destroyed, and we know that that happened a few years after they left uh, left Jerusalem. Verse 7, Therefore now saith, thus saith the Lord, the God of hosts, the God of Israel, wherefore commit ye this great evil against your souls, to cut off from you man and woman, child and suckling, out of Judah, to leave you none, none to remain, and that ye provoke me unto wrath with the works of your hands, burning incense unto other gods in the land of Egypt, whither ye be gone to dwell, that ye might cut yourselves off, and that ye might be of a curse and a reproach among all the nations of the earth. Have ye forgotten the wickedness of your fathers and the wickedness of the kings of Judah and the wickedness of their wives and your own wickedness and the wickedness of your wives, which they have committed in in the land of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem? What he's telling them here is if you don't remember history, you're bound to repeat the mistakes made in the past. Kind of uh, same thing for us today, huh? You can see things happening in our in our country where we aren't paying attention to the history. And so things are happening that aren't very good. Verse 10. They are not humbled even unto this day, neither have they feared, nor walked in my law, nor in my statutes that I set before you and before your fathers. Therefore, therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will set my face against you for evil, and to cut off all Judah. And I will take the remnant of Judah that have set their faces to go into the land of Egypt to sojourn there, and they shall all be consumed and fall in the land of Egypt. They shall even be consumed by the sword and by the famine. They shall die from the least even unto the greatest by the sword and by the famine. And they shall be an an execration and an astonishment and a curse and a reproach. For I will punish them that dwell in the land of Egypt as I have punished Jerusalem by the sword, by the famine and by the pestilence. So that none of the remnant of Judah, which are gone into the land of Egypt to sojourn there, shall escape or remain, that they shall return into the land of Judah to that to the which they have a desire to return to dwell there, for none shall return, but such as shall escape. So we've used a couple of times now here the word execration. Back in verse 12, there's, they shall be an execration and an astonishment. Execration means to have a feeling of great loathing. So that's what that means. I didn't know what it meant either. I had to look it up. Anyway, <clears throat> I didn't want you to go by, you know, thinking... There's a word there that I don't understand, and I didn't either, so now you know. It's a, it's a feeling of loathing. Verse 15, Then all the men which knew that their wives had burned incense unto other gods, and all the women that stood by a great multitude, even all the people that dwelt in the land of Egypt and Pathros, answered Jeremiah, saying, As for the word that thou hast spoken unto us in the name of the Lord, we will not hearken unto thee, but we will certainly do whatsoever thing goeth forth out of our own mouth to burn incense unto the queen of heaven, the fertility goddess, such as the Babylonian Ishtar, and to pour out drink offerings unto her, as we have done, we and our fathers, our kings and our princes in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, for for then had we plenty of victuals and and were well and saw no evil." 
But since we left off to burn incense to the queen of heaven and to pour our, our out drink offerings unto her, we have wanted or lacked all things and have been consumed by the sword and by the famine. And when we burned incense to the queen of heaven and poured out drink offerings unto her, did we make her cakes to worship her and pour out drink offerings unto her without our men? Then Jeremiah said unto all the people, to the men and to the women, and to all the people which had given him that answer, saying, The incense that ye burned in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, ye and your fathers, your kings and your princes, and the, and the people of the land, did not the Lord remember them, and came in, and came it not into his mind, so that the Lord could no longer bear because of the evil of your doings and because of the abominations which ye have committed. Therefore is your land a desolation and an astonishment and a curse without an inhabitant as at, that, as at this day. The Lord gives us time to repent, but eventually if, if we refuse to repent, he will punish us. Verse 23, because ye have burned incense and because ye have sinned against the Lord and have not obeyed the voice of the Lord, nor walked in his law, nor in his statutes, nor in his testimonies, therefore this evil has happened unto you at this day. Moreover, Jeremiah said unto all the people and to all the women, Hear the word of the Lord, all Judah that are in the land of Egypt. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, saying, Ye and your wives have both spoken with your mouths and fulfilled with your hands, saying, we will surely perform our vows that we have vowed to burn incense to the queen of heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her. Ye will surely accomplish your vows and surely perform your vows. Therefore, hear ye the word of the Lord, all Judah that dwell in the land of Egypt. Behold, I have sworn by my great name, saith the Lord, that my name shall no more be named in the mouth of, my, of any man of Judah and in all the land of Egypt, saying, The Lord God liveth. Behold, I will watch over them for evil and not for good and for all the men of Judah that are in the land of Egypt shall be consumed by the sword and by the famine until there be an end of them. Yet a small number that escape the sword shall return out of the land of Egypt into the land of Judah, and all the remnant of Judah that are gone into the land of Egypt to sojourn there shall know whose words shall stand, mine or theirs. And this shall be a sign unto you, saith the Lord, that I will punish you in this place, that ye may know that my words shall surely stand against you for evil." Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will give Pharaoh Hophra, king of Egypt, into the hand of his enemies, and in the land, and in the hand of them that seek his life, as I gave Zedekiah, king of Judah, into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, his enemy, and that sought his life. That's the end of the chapter. So you can see that uh, even though some of these Israelites here, the Jews, are going into Egypt for safety, uh, eventually the, uh, Egypt's going to be overthrown too, which means that the uh, people of the Jews will too. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Bye.